Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of my live Paris series. I'm about to give my ticket to the man. <laughs> Bonjour. And we are along the river today. And that is our valiant steed for this afternoon. Welcome, everybody. I'm so glad to have you today. Today, it's the River Seine Cruise or the Seine River Cruise, either way you want to say it. I can see all those names popping up thanks to my live viewers. Otherwise, if you're not live, I guess you're listening to me on the replay right now. But welcome to episode number 48, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the Seine River Cruise. I'm excited. So there is a company called Bateau Bus, and they've got this series of uh, sort of water taxis slash tourist cruise boats that go around every 20 minutes or so. Um, they'll pick you up, and it's a hop-on, hop-off situation. And this is the one that we're going to hop on. And there are nine different stations along the way or stops. In French, they call them uh, les escales, nine escales. And you can hop on and off all day long and you buy a uh, one-day subscription or a two-day subscription. <laughs> Juan Alba says, hello, uh, Captain Corey. Ahoy to everybody. There's the Louvre there. So in a moment, we're going to pop on this boat. Let me show you what's behind me. What we saw for a second earlier. We're at the, the, uh, the station here in front of the Orsay. Paris, Orléans, those are the two cities that this original train station would have served as far as the, the different terminus points. That's why you'll see the P and the O initials there all along uh, Gare uh, Orsay, which is now, of course, the Musée d'Orsay, the Impressionist Museum. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I can see all those lovely well wishes. I can see the live viewers filing in. This is the Seine River Cruise. We're going to have a great time today. And we're waiting for everybody to get off the boat. Little bit of history here because we're going to see some beautiful monuments from the, from the water, of course. This was opened in 1900 as a train station. Nope, they're rushing, ushering us onto the boat. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. And that's what the boat looks like. I'm going to try to make my way through here. Nice and busy today. We're going to try to get to the back so we can get a view. Ah, hello. Hey, hey. Ah, here we go. Okay, so in the back you can get a view and we're going to jockey for a position here. It's crowded today. Everyone's into the boat idea. We have, um, a, boy, I'm drawing a lot of looks here. I've got a lot of students who are wondering what the heck I'm up to. And uh, what you can do is you can get on the bateau bus for uh, not a lot, 19 euros. Actually, if, um, if you have a pass Navigo, it's even cheaper. And you can get views like this. Uh, unfortunately, the students are really packing pardon. Excuse me. That's the Tuileries Gardens and the Louvre. And we're going to get going shortly. That's the boat. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, it's live on Facebook. Ah, on Facebook, we live. Ah. On direct, okay, live. Okay. A little bit. They asked oh, if I'm famous, I said a little bit. Okay. Uh, you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> Where are you from? Spain. From Spain? Ah, Espanol. Super. Your first time in Paris? No. Yes? No. This is a good way to see Paris. It's the best way. <laughs> How, how do you say, um, have a good day in Spanish? Ten un buen día. Okay, there you go. Okay, bye, thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay, let me uh, pop inside here.
So we're just waiting for the rest of the people to get on the boat here. It'll take a second. I can feel that we're about to move. <laughs> Christina Consolé, you make me laugh. Here we go. Everybody wants to say hello. Hello. Hey. Happy bunch today. <laughs> make our way to the front here. Oops. There we go. It's through the glass, it's a little dingy, but let's see if I can step outside a little bit. Ah. There's the Orsay. In the 1980s, they converted this into a museum. Hold on, excuse me. Uh, here's a good spot for us, finally. We're outside, away from the students. The Orsay and we are on the move, folks. Welcome. This is the Sen River Cruise, episode number 48. And I don't know if you've noticed yet, things are a little bit different visually. I strapped on my zoom lens. Not the wide-angle lens, but we're going the opposite way today. And we're zooming in on this architecture today. And we are moving at a pretty fast pace, as you can see, so hopefully the cell signal will hold up today. We're going to pass under some bridges. Let me show you the Louvre a little more up close. Tail end of the Louvre, where there used to be a palace called the Tuileries Palace. And this bridge here, one of 37 in Paris. We've got 37 beautiful bridges, almost like passing under periods of history here on a boat cruise. It was called the Pont Royal when it was completed in 1689 because Louis XIV built it. And so it was called the Royal Bridge, the Pont Royal. And exactly one, 100 years later, in 1789, you may know, the French Revolution kicked off and they weren't having the word royal, so they renamed that bridge uh, the Pont National, the National Bridge. I'm trying to get my sea legs here at the same time. In the Louvre here, we've got the Grande Galerie. That's where the Mona Lisa is and the Italian Renaissance paintings. Um, when Henry IV, one of the great monarchs, resided here and actually built this gallery, um, his young son, future Louis XIII, King of France, was um, running around shooting animals inside because the king thought, I'm going to train my son to hunt uh, wild game. And they released wild animals running through the Grande Galerie, and young Louis XIII practiced his shooting skills inside, if you can believe it. Ah, Sandy says she's loving this. I'm so glad. This is the Pont du Carousel. There, we also have the Arc du Carousel on the other end. These right here used to extend up. They were designed to extend up at night and illuminate the architecture, but they no longer do. She represents the city of Paris there. And underneath another bridge. Isn't it great to see Paris from this angle? And that's where we're headed. If we could get a little bit of sunlight today, I'll be psyched. Hey, Sarah Pollard, I can see you there. My cousin's in the house, fantastic. Maria feels like she's actually there right now. That's great. I love all these comments, folks. Thank you. And we got a big old advertisement. That's how they pay for the restoration of these buildings. This is still the Louvre, by the way. It goes on and on and on and on. If you're just joining me, this is number 48 of my series that brings you on the streets of Paris and occasionally not exactly the streets as you can see today. This is the Seine River Cruise, obviously a very different and special way to see the monuments. The boat's slowing down because we're going to uh, stop at another uh, dock where some people will get off and some people will get on. There's one of the classic bateaux mouches right there, which are the um, very popular and traditional cruise ships or cruise boats that'll take you up and down the sun. Named, by the way, the word moosh is the word for fly, like a fly buzzing around in your bedroom. But that's a misnomer because it actually comes from a, a neighborhood in Lyon where they created the first cruise boats. And it was a, an area called La Mouche. So that's why they're called Les Bateaux Mouches. They're not named after insects after all. So we have essentially stopped. Let me show you here. 
That's the Pont des Arts. If you've come through Paris, you've certainly crossed over the Pont des Arts, the Bridge of the Arts. It was so called because on the left-hand side, of course, the Louvre, obviously plenty of art there. And then it spanned across and connected to a, a building that was called the Palais des Arts, which we're going to see as we, just behind that, that uh, boat, the Palais des Arts, which today is called the French Institute, l'Institut Francais. I'm glad everyone's digging this right now. I popped on, as I said earlier, my zoom lens today. So that's why we're getting a nice up close view of this stuff and also it gives us a certain depth of field, which is perfect for a, a tour like this. Let's spin back over here. Right here in the center of your screen, that Gothic tower is from the church that used to be the parish church of the kings and queens living in the Louvre. So we've got the Louvre to the left, and in the center of your frame, it's a church called saint germain lauxerrois And interestingly, the Louvre never had its own church over in here, its own chapel. So they had to pop one here. And it's where folks like uh, Louis XIV and Henri IV and Catherine uh, de Medici, they would cross over the street every day and, and go to mass there. So it's a very special Gothic medieval beauty. It was around in the Renaissance times as well. So the Pont des Arts, as we go under it, this is the well, either famous or infamous bridge, however you want to slice it, where the Lovelocks idea started. Nobody knows exactly where the Lovelocks came from, where that concept originated. Some say it was in Eastern Europe or it was a novel written over there and people brought it over here. But at any rate, uh, starting in about 2008, fairly recently, people started coming here and popping padlocks on there and throwing the keys into the river, which can't be very good for the river. I don't, I don't even want to know what's down here on the bottom of this waterway. But um, eventually the city said enough is enough. It was flooding the, um, or uh, overloading the, the bridge with weight. And even some of those railings started to collapse. So they removed all the love locks, for better or worse. I know everyone's got an opinion about love locks. The banks of the Seine here actually in the 1990s were officially recognized and classified as um, historic monuments or world heritage uh, sites. So you have this UNESCO organization, right? And there are submittals every year for parts of the world. It could be food, it could be dance, it could be um, uh, monuments, of course. And they accept these spaces as world heritage sites or these concepts. And so here on the banks of the Seine in the 90s, officially recognized as a historical treasure that is meant to be kept and preserved. And I think on the UNESCO site, they actually officially call the banks of the Seine, they refer to it as the place where successive layers of history are harmoniously superimposed, is the, is the line. So isn't that nice? Harmoniously superimposed all these layers of history. So we'll bid farewell to the Louvre. Uh, if you recall, or if you're new to this uh, process, what we do is a live version of each tour. And then I switch it up. I say goodbye to all of you publicly. And my Patreon supporters will get a private tour extension. And so that's what we'll do today. We'll go probably just until Notre Dame. And then at Notre Dame, I'll say goodbye to the public viewers. And my Patreon supporters, the Freets, will get treated to an extension of this tour. And we'll go even further. So yeah, let me show you real quick. We don't want to miss this. This is the Pont des Arts. It used to be private and you'd have to pay a toll to go across this. But now it's just a beautiful pedestrian footbridge. Sex and the City was filmed there. Uh, Catch Me If You Can, I believe, was filmed on that bridge. Also, what's this um, magician movie? Someone can remind me. Magician movie with... Um, Mark Ruffalo. They filmed the first one there on that bridge. We're coming up on the Pont Neuf and I love this weeping willow tree here. That is one of the best spots to meditate on Paris. Right at the tip of the island called Ile de la Cité, we can see the old department store La Samaritaine coming into view behind it that is soon to be finished and restored and renovated. And then there's a park here called the Square of the Vert Galon, Square du Vert Galon, 
Uh, and Vergalon actually translates into uh, sort of a horny ladies' man, uh, referencing Henry IV. He was a fan of the ladies, and apparently on warm summer nights, Mr. Henry IV, who was living at the Louvre, would come down to this very section of the island to meet his lady friends and have certain kinds of cuddles and things like that. You know what I'm getting at? Speaking to Henry IV, he's famously uh, right up here on the equestrian statue. By the way, the bronze they used to make that statue there was a melted statue of Napoleon at the top of Place Vendôme, on the column of Vendôme. They melted it down in the 1800s, and Napoleon became Henry IV. Hue de la Cité here, let me give you a shot of it. The um, famous faces of the Pont Neuf. Sorry about that. There we go, a little bit of camera work, Corey, you can do it. 384, if I'm not mistaken, of those sculpted heads. And they didn't clean the windows this morning, so let's not film through the windows today. Behind these buildings is Place Dauphine, which was built by Mr. Henry IV, the ladies' man, which blends into the Palais de Justice, the Supreme Court building. This right here that you see was meant to be the main entrance of the court building, but then they decided at the last minute, now nah, we're not going to use it. So it's one of the more beautiful, unused entrances of any building, the Palais de Justice. And then the Commissariat, the police station, the Prefecture, all of that is wrapped up here in the buildings that follow. Hey, we cracked 300 live viewers. Fantastic. Thanks, Belinda, for... Uh, pointing that out to me. You can see the trees are just in, starting to, to come into bloom here. If you didn't catch my video montage of the blossoms that are coming in Paris, just scroll down on my Facebook page. You definitely want to check that out. Some areas are full in bloom and others are waiting to explode. So this building here on Ile de la Cité is the Prefecture. We probably can't make it out here, but there, if you look closely, uh, in real life at least, there are actually bullet holes all around here from the Nazi occupation. When the French resistance took over this building, this is right, what you're looking at in August of 1944, the first building that the French resistance took over to start the liberation of their city. So pretty, pretty iconic and pretty important building, the Prefecture. And if, if, those, uh, if those statues could talk, imagine what they would tell us about the liberation and the occupation. We got a bridge here with the big old N for Napoleon. Ah, look at this. There's something we recognize. Ah, Dreama Perry's here. Hello, Dreama. It's so nice to have you live. I appreciate it. I'm sure some of your followers, the Dreamettes, might be tuning in as well. And this is a special day. Look at the sun coming out just for, just for you, Dreama. I'm sure the sun is just for you at that moment. That's fantastic. So Notre Dame, obviously. Leslie Sams just said that her uh, dad took part in the liberation of Paris. That's incredible. Thanks, Leslie, for adding that. What a hero that guy must have been. What I love about the city is you can take these staircases down right to these little platforms and you can get very up close and intimate with the Seine. Hello, Montreal. I see you there. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Share this on your page right now if you're really into it and you want to spread the love. We can grab a few more uh, live viewers maybe. like you're all part of your very own private travel documentary, live as it unfolds in front of you. It's pretty exciting. We've got a green statue of Charlemagne there towards the bottom. 
Holy Royal Emperor of France, he's known as. In 800, he was the one who grouped together all the different um, Gothic-type tribes in the nation, properly created a nation of France, at least that's what he gets credit for. Some people there on the bridge. Hi, people on the bridge. Hi, people. Wave, wave, wave. No, nobody wants to wave to us. Okay, so there's going to be a stop here where people are going to get off and some people are going to get on. And it'll be a good opportunity. Excuse me. The view of Notre Dame is phenomenal from back here. Here we go. Woo, doggy. Too good. Too good, too good, too good. Marco! Sorry? What's your name? Hey, sorry. My name's Corey. 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 French fry in Paris. That's my Facebook, French fry in Paris. Okay? You look for it. I have a lot of videos about Paris, a lot of videos. You like it? French fry in Paris. I don't know if these, I don't know if these Spanish students really understood me, but look at that view. So, listen, we are going to follow. Oh, it's way too crowded here. It's way too crowded here. Whew, sometimes it's all about logistics. So let me show you the view here because I'm going to sign off on the public uh, tour and I'm going to continue with my Patreon folks. So just let me give you the... We'll finish up with this view. So this is from the Bateau Bus. You can hop on and hop off for 19 euros, even less if you have a Pass Navigo. And we're going to head that way with my Patreon subscribers, privately. We're going to check out the Ile Saint-Louis and the other side of Ile de la Cité and all of that goodness and parts of the Marais and the Hôtel de Ville. So thanks, everybody. I want to really, I'm really, really appreciative that you joined here. We got well over 300 live viewers. And come back next week for another live walk or a live float, who knows, to the city of Paris. If you want to become a Patreon member and get access to this private content I've been talking about, then go ahead and check out the link in the description. This replay is going to go up immediately on my Facebook page, and then later I'll even put an HD version of the replay. So if any of this was blurry for you, then you can go back here on Facebook and even YouTube and see it all in HD um, uh, glory, glory. So that's about it. I'm going to sign off. Thanks, Patreon folks. Go over to our, our cafe chat Facebook group, and we will continue this lovely cruise today and have a little chat amongst ourselves. So again, if you want to follow me, if you want to take a tour with me, I'm a tour guide here in Paris. All the links that you need to hook up with me and spend time with me in this beautiful city, um, you'll find in the description. So have a lovely rest of your day, everybody. What is today? Sunday? Usually I do Saturday, but enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.